Gold ingots. Yes, you heard it, guys. Gold ingots has always been a crazy process to make with the create mod itself. Now, what I realized also with the create mod and making a gold farm, you will get a huge ton of byproducts in the mix of making that, as you can see on the left, which is crazy. But then it dawned on me why not make a factory that allows you to also make those items as well? Now, what we have here, guys, is a mega factory that can produce over those 20 different items that I showed you earlier. And not only that, guys, this thing is huge. It uses about half a million stress units, and trust me, this thing is just crazy. But I also want to make it simplistic. So what we have here is a very user-friendly selector panel that allows you, or well, allows the machine, to focus on that one specific item. Now, we're also using a major second mod, which is the storage drawer. So just keep that in mind when you be building this. Now, I wasn't joking, this thing is just crazy huge. I mean, it is a mega factory. That's all in one, plus it's self-powered. But not to worry, we're gonna get more details about that. Now, these are gonna be the list of items that this, this system can actually make. So pause the video, read the thing on the left. It's gonna show you a list of all the items that this bad boy could produce. Now, you could turn off the entire system completely so you don't create any lag, and you can also turn off the stone gen that's only in the back, which is kind of the heart of this whole thing. Now, say for example, you want to make iron ingots. All you have to do is press that button, and you're going to notice right away that this thing is going to start producing just iron ingots on its own. But you know what? Say I want to switch it up. I want to make something else. Say, for example, I want to make some sandstone. The whole system will change up just to make sandstone only. So it will lock certain areas just to make this specific item. And you don't waste nothing. Now, how it works, we're going to get right into that. Now, I just explained the whole selector panel right in front of you, which is pretty cool. Now, the second part to this is what we have the sand station, which converts sand and red sand into sandstone and cut sandstone. Now back here, in that little spot right there, we have a stone station, which converts stone into stone brick. And those are the rates you're gonna get per hour. Now we got the third station, which is the heat and crushing station, what I like to call it. And that kind of focuses on all these items listed on the left. That's really crucial to making this whole farm when, when it comes to making gold. And we have the water and crushing station, which also produces a ton of really cool items right there. And like I said, guys, um, the cobblestone gen, or as I call it, the stone gen, it makes gravel and cobblestone at high rates, which is kind of the core of this whole thing. And to power this bad boy, we have a steam power system that makes about 655 stress units, which is way more than it's required for this entire setup. And over here, we have the dry kelp station, which converts kelp into dry kelp blocks. And of course, guys, we have a mega kelp farm, which is way more than what we need. But I want to go big and just, you know, go that extra mile to make something extreme. Now, how that whole section area turns off and locks and kind of turns off certain areas. If you lock this, for example, with a redstone torch, as you can see, the cobblestone is going up there, right? But I want just cobblestone. It's going to convert that. And now you're going to see the cobblestone kind of going to a different track. And that track, guys, is going to go all the way to the front. All right, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I had tons of fun making this. When you get a chance, make sure to subscribe. Hit that like button and that notification bell so you get the latest updates on upcoming videos. Once again, guys, thank you so much and uh, have a great day. Anyway, I want to thank everybody for watching. Remember to please leave a comment and to click that subscribe button if you want to join. Thank you.